I'm sorry Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Super Tux Card, it's impossible to start a list of Linux games without paying homage to Tux, the logo brand character for the Linux kernel. Tux is the star of Super Tux Card, a fun arcade racing game that includes a variety of characters, tracks, and modes. You can race against the kernel, on your LAN with friends, or with complete strangers from all over the world online. If you like Mario Kart or Sonic All-Stars Racing, you'll love this. Uu Light, built as an open word space opera, Uu Light is inspired by David Brabant's classic game Elite A game I spent many an hour playing when I was just a BBC micro, forge your own path in the galaxy by becoming a feared pirate, a dodgy trader, a gun for hire, or a washed up software engineer searching the galaxy for coin. Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead, Cataclysm, DDA is a roguelike game set in a procedurally generated, post-apocalyptic world, think zombies, nuclear waste grounds, that sort of thing, like most roguelikes games, it's primarily text-based, but there are tile sets available. Battle for Westmouth, Battle for Westmouth is a turn-based strategy game with a variety of campaigns involving elves, dwarves, orcs. Thralls, humans, and more. Speaking of humans, hundreds of them have contributed maps, campaigns, features, and bug fixes to the project. If you're looking for an excuse to get some extra green squares on your contribution graph, you can create new maps, campaigns, and units, introduce new art or music, help with translations, or even update the AI. Warzone 2100, a malfunction in Earth's new strategic defense system causes a series of nuclear strikes that take out almost every inhabitant on Earth. Your job is to help rebuild civilization, but as you can imagine, there are a few barriers to overcome first. Originally developed by Pumpkin Studios and released in 1990, Warzone 2100 was open sourced in 2004. Now the project is entirely community driven and still sees plenty of updates from hundreds of contributors. If you like, real-time strategy games, you'll like this. Eorg, Eorg is an arcade-style racing game with lots of cars, tracks, power-ups, and weapons. Race against AI or take on your friends in local slash online multiplayer. I'm probably a little biased as I love games like Micro Machines and Ivan Ironman Stewart's Super Off-Road. Eorg was created by Yadu, a small indie game development team established in Rome, and created using Panda 3D and open source, cross-platform game engine designed for Python and C++. OpenTTT Did you ever play Transport Tycoon Deluxe back in the day? OpenTTT, as the name suggests, is an open source game based on it. In addition to mimicking the original game, it offers significant new features, like multiplayer mode for up to 255 players, way bigger maps, and the ability to build on slopes and coasts. T-Worlds, easy to learn, but hard to master. T-Worlds is a nice little MMO that's a mashup of retro platform and shooting games. Customize your character, battle with up to 16 players, create your own maps, or check out some of the amazing community-created maps. Originally created by Magnus Ovinen, it's now open source and maintained by the community. Unvanquished, Unvanquished is an FPS strategy game putting superhuman soldiers against devious aliens, take shots destroying the enemy bases either as a human with long range firepower, or as an alien in close combat who prefers stealth, Unvanquished has been in development for 10 years, with the first release in February 2012, since then, the game has had monthly releases the latest being the 052.1 beta release chock full of enhancements, bug fixes, and a new flat pick making it easy easier to install across almost every Linux distro. Astrominus, if you grew up on games like Galaga or 1942R type, or if you just like blowing stuff up in space, then this game is for you. Astrominus is a shoot em up developed and published by Russian indie game developer at you was heard. Free Orion, Free Orion is a turn-based, space empire and galactic conquest strategy game. It's inspired by the master of Orion games but is neither a clone nor a remake of the original game. Explore the randomly generated galaxy, colonize planets, research new technologies, and prepare to battle with diverse and formidable species. With the game's support for scripting, the community has an easy way to customize mechanics, presentation, and pretty much everything in the universe. Nethack, Nethack is a roguelike game, a fork of the 1982 game hack, choose from one of the character classes, and fight your way through the usual procedurally generated dungeon foes in search of the elusive emulator vendor, it's not a trivial game to get into. 
but it is very rewarding, as the code is open source, fixing bugs, adding features, or just figuring out how stuff works is achievable. Stunt Rally There might not have been an official release in five years, but the creator of Stunt Rally, at Prime, put a solid five years of work into it, and it still shines today. Choose from over 20 cars, 172 racetracks across multiple terrains and planets, and race a friend on your network or split screen. It also ships with the track editor. Red Eclipse 2 Red Eclipse 2 is an FPS focusing on fast-paced gameplay and impulse boosts. It has been in development for more than a decade. It also has a built-in editor allowing you to create maps cooperatively online in real time. This game is built on the Tesseract game engine, which is a fork of the Cube 2 game engine written by one of the developers. FreeCiv FreeCiv is a free and open source, turn-based, empire-building strategy game supporting up to 126 players or 500 on the web version, with over 500 nations and 50 playable units. You're bound to find something that interests you as you led your empire out of the Stone Age and into the Space Age. Endless Sky Explore the galaxy, and follow your dreams of becoming an intergalactic space trader, dreaded space pirate, guns for hire, etc. In Endless Sky, you'll need to make quite a bit of coin to pay off your loan for your starter spacecraft, and later purchase new spacecrafts, upgrade weapons, and tweak your engines you get the idea, see yourself as a storyteller or content creator. One of the game's goals is to collect stories and content from as diverse a group of people as possible, so there are always new places to explore, or each with its own unique characteristics. There are lots of non-programming tasks available to create new missions, ships, weapons, aliens, and or enhance audio and visuals, and more. Pixel Wheels, ready, set, go, and check out Pixel Wheels, a delightful little work in progress, top-down racer game from AppDato that you can play on your Android or Linux devices, there are tons of tracks, a variety of vehicles, and some power-ups that pack a punch. Unknown Horizons, expand your small settlement and build a healthy colony in Unknown Horizons, a real-time economy simulation game based on the Anno game series, expand your settlement beyond the horizon, collect taxes, and keep your inhabitants happy and healthy. Beta Strike, Beta Strike is a 3D space flight simulator putting you in the cockpit to explore or fight and trade throughout the galaxy, it is similar to Freelancer, but free. Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, let's call it DCSS for short, is another roguelike game. Download it, build it from source, or tell NetSSH to server, and play it that way. You can actually watch players around the world exploring the dungeons live via the website. Gadget, speaking of gadget, the latest release has lots of new spells and spellbooks, plus a few new maps too. Open RA, if you ever play Dune 2000, Command and Conquer, or Red Alert then Open R is for you, it's basically those games remade for modern computers with updated gameplay, new campaigns, user created and curated maps, and online play. Step Mania, Step Mania is a free dance and rhythm game featuring support for dance pads and an editor for creating your own steps, it was originally created as a clone of Konami's DDR, but has since evolved into something much more that can be used for both home and arcade use, this is the perfect weekend hack project to turn your garage into a dance studio and work on your cardio. Shattered Pixel Dungeon, Shattered Pixel Dungeon, a pixel perfect roguelike RPG the game actually started life as a mod for Pixel Dungeon dungeon and was only supposed to be a project lasting a few months back in 2014, thanks to the overwhelmingly positive reaction from the community, it has since evolved into its own game but still shares some code and other assets with its predecessor, this game offers lots of variety, lots of playability and difficulty, and will keep you coming back for just one more game. Sea Dogs SDL Sea Dogs SDL is a 4 player run and gun game where you well, run and gun with 4 against the other players, the release notes are always chock full of pixely goodness, the latest update shipped with AI updates, and weapon sprites to see what your enemies are holding. Assault Cube Assault Cube is a multiplayer first person shooter game that packs a punch in a lightweight 50 megabytes package, play some deathmatch, survivor, capture the flag, hunt the flag, keep the flag, pistol frenzy, blasts with standing, and one shot one kill with your office mates or friends.
Mind test, mind test may be a bit blocky, but the gameplay that this open source voxel game engine provides is fantastic. Choose from one of many games, or create your own games and mods. Play by yourself, locally with friends, or online in worlds that measure 62,000 by 62,000 blocks. That's right, you dig a mine 31,000 blocks down. 0K0K is an RTS game fought over land, air, and sea with hundreds of maps and units at your disposal. Play in single player campaign mode, multiplayer with friends, or powerful AI. Wyrmson, Wyrmson is a real time strategy game based on history, mythology, and the lore of other open source games, like Battle for Westmouth. There's even an in game encyclopedia describing the units, buildings, as well as their historical and mythological sources of inspiration. If you like dwarf, craft too, you'll love this. Mind Industry, what happens when you cross a tower defense game with the factory game? You get Mind Industry, a beautiful hybrid of both. Create elaborate supply chains of conveyor belts, feed ammo into your turrets, and produce materials to use for building to help stop wave upon wave upon wave upon wave of enemies. Super Tux, Tux makes another appearance in Super Tux, a classic platformer similar in style to that other game with the Super Italian Plumber Brothers. In addition to the story mode, you'll find a large number of community created levels available as add-ons.